shouldn't be in my video. Why would I be? Oh, come and tell them you're from Britain. <laughs> In the keke. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I know it's been a while, but yeah, I'm back. So I'm in Cape Coast right now in Ghana, and this is a mini vacation. So if you want to know how this is going to turn out, watch till the end. So this is basically the hotel, we're in front of the hotel we are going to lodge. We just arrived and about to cross the road. So this is the hotel and this is what it looks like, obviously. So this is just um, a mini room tour for you guys. This is where I'll be sleeping for the night, maybe for two nights. <laughs> this is the bedroom. This is how it looks like. And this is the washroom. It's pretty spacious and nice. Yeah. Oh, this is basically what the room looks like um, with all the stuff. This is my music box on the bed because I can't do without music. <laughs> yeah so that's it guys for the room tour the next day we were heading to the beach and the streets of cape coast it's so gorgeous these buildings are so gorgeous they look like british buildings yeah because the british were here i think so so the streets are pretty nice the buildings are what is just giving me mm, the vibe <laughs> so this is us going to the beach to have fun and then see the entire Cape Coast not really entire Cape Coast but have fun and visit the beach guys can you see the buildings i love the way they are gorgeous and old cape coast is an old city so most of the buildings are old and was built during the colonial era when ghana used to be called gold coast even though the buildings look old they look strong stronger than most of the modern buildings and i heard that the inside is still beautiful so i just love the way they are old and gorgeous you know <laughs> yeah. So guys, this is GT Bank. In case you're wondering if GT Bank is not in Ghana, here it is in Cape Coast. It is also in Accra, so we have lots of Nigerian banks here if you are in search of one. Right now, we are already at the beach road and it is gorgeous. Just take a look at the sea and the trees. We're almost close to the beach. We are heading to the Heartland Beach at Cape Coast. And I can't wait to show you lots and lots and lots of things. <laughs>
guys this is our church signboard and each time i see the church signboard i'm always so excited <laughs> this is the church in cape coast it looks pretty old and so good yeah so it reminds me of when i was in primary and this is how i knew the church building to be well, we are still heading to the beach don't worry soon we'll be there here we are. <laughs> I told ya. We just arrived at Hatch Land Beach. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right? So this is the Hatch Land Beach. It is so beautiful. Yeah, and that's the sign board or signpost. <laughs> so this is us um, trying to admire the environment. I was filming and then we started heading inside the beach. This is so amazing and gorgeous. I love how the whole place is, how organized and uh, it's so gorgeous. Just enjoy the vlog, okay? So guys, we had so much fun and it's night already so we we're trying to head back. We left lots of people there at the beach um, because it's pretty at night and people still enjoy themselves over there. There's lights everywhere. So um, I'm so tired and I ate too much. <laughs> but, so guys, this is how the first day of my vacation went. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the second day of my mini vacation in Cape Coast and this is me just walking out of my lodge and heading to the road to meet my friend, my TC. We served some mission together. So he is coming to pick me to the Cape Coast castle. Mm -hmm. 
So today is going to be so adventurous. Watch to the end. Wherever. Hi guys, I'm on the way. I'd never use. <laughs> no mic. Mm. It was what? Video log. Ah, yeah, come, come, come. Oh. Come be in my video. Why would I be? In? Why would you be in my video? Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Is the way you say the hello for me? <laughs> hello. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> because I'm from Britain and I speak. You're from where? Britain. Oh, come and tell them you're from Britain. This <laughs> is So here we are again on the road heading to Cape Coast Castle. But before then, we are going to pick up my our other friend. <laughs> it's just people we serve mission together he's our tc2 his name is the craft he is actually from cape coast yes so we are going to pick him on the way so the three of us are going to the cape coast castle because he's from here he's in a better position to show us around although my tc um bruce already know the place so here is the graft our tc see how he's smiling like fish <laughs> with his sunshed Hey, the grubs. I've missed him. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Say we. Yes. What's up? I'm fine. She's a baby, eh? What's up? What are you doing? Eh, Messi. Before the hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> no, say hi like this. Hi. 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 <laughs> What's up? Say we. You see? This is my area. Yeah. I'm from Cape Coast. Okay. Wow. Yes. So this wow. is Cape Coast. Welcome to Cape Coast. Thank you. <laughs> now we're going to the Cape Coast Castle, right? Yes. Yeah. Brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think why. This is us heading to the Cape Coast Castle. And again, if you haven't been to Cape Coast, you have to give me credit for delivering these videos to you. How astonishing and amazing this is isn't it <laughs> so if you want to see more of this make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you'll be able to get notified each time i post a new video this is cape coast this is cape coast again <laughs> enjoy Jejano. Me, I'm from Jejano. Wow. And this is my room. area. It's my area as well. If you pass here, my house is, my family house is just here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And here is called Inten. 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 It is only those. I'm from from from. They are the one that they are living around. You okay, understand? Yeah. And everything goes on here. Wow. Everything. If you understand everything, yes. yeah, everything, legal, legal and, illegal. and illegal, everything goes around here. Wow. Yeah, it's like the bandit area. Yeah, voila. <laughs> if you 
go there, oui. that means you're going to find those that they are selling the coke wow. and then the you know the hard drugs, everything. Yeah. It's there. Wow. And if you come to Cape Coast, you have only one chapel square. One chapel square? Yes, and this is the chapel square. Oh. I think it's, it's for the Matadist, right? Yeah, this is the chapel square. And it's old as well. It's old. I think they are renovating it no, or something. I am sure. It was bought by those ancient Abrofo that they came here. Oh. You understand? No, you both, right? Yeah, you, you people that. call them Oibo, Oibo. you call them Abrofo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Who are those that call them Obroni? Obroni or something? Obroni? Obroni? Okay. Abrofo. Abrofo is me the fantasy. Oh. Okay. Obroni is, is one, right? Uh, yeah, Obroni is one. If, if one person, you will call him Obroni. Wow. So here's the Cape Coast Castle. Wow. And uh, here's the Cape Coast Icons. Okay. That's the Cape Coast Icons. Yes. So this is where we are coming. Yeah, this is the Cape Coast Castle. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Here's where Obama came. Barack Obama. Barack Obama, he came. I was standing just here and you were standing at the top here. Are you serious? Yes. You were standing at the top? At the top here. Hey. How old were you then? Eh? <laughs> I was like... 12 years. Yeah. At the age of 10, what? Wow. No, not 10. At some point, 16, 17. Wow. I think I need my So, like, he wants us to buy this one. Coconut this one. I don't think I don't think we can buy it here. When Why? Get to my place. He gets some like somewhere either okay. one six fifty per cents or two cents. Ah. Yeah, start <laughs> to buy this one. So, <laughs> but I'm not going to be satisfied with one. You understand? <laughs> So we were going inside and I think they were going to make some payments before we see the place. Yeah, that's my my thesis. These are my thesis. The graft and bruise are my conk. <laughs> yeah, bruise are misa. <laughs> yeah so i think i don't know what they were looking at here maybe the prices of whatever i don't even know i was just redoing it without trying to grab what it's all about what Okay. Uh, sure. I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. You live in Nigeria? Yes, please. You, you see how it is? Uh, how is Buhari? <laughs> you should be fine. Oh, you don't know. You should be fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is winning election in March? I don't know. I don't really know, but then I. Be no, I don't want him yeah. to win. Uh, uh, Peter one. Obi. Peter Obi. Yes, definitely. I want oh, Peter Obi to win. So the man that was seated was asking me where I'm from and I told him I'm from Nigeria and he was asking who won the election. I told him I don't know <laughs> but then I want Peter Obi to win. So these are some stuff you have to read before going inside and then we left, I think we were heading straight inside the castle, Cape Coast Castle. So they directed us to where we'll meet our tour guide. Other people already came before us, so 
we have to join group of persons. This is a ni nice, nice um, Ankara clothes. So they sell them there too inside the castle, but they're very, very expensive. So don't even try, but you can buy. So this is the group who will be joining. And that guy in front, the one inside the cell is our tour guide. He's our tour guide. And this is the first room we entered. It is a cell for the women. Okay. It's a cell. It's a cell. Yeah. Where do you go? Well, if, if, if you may, if like they call you to have mm -hmm. any affair with you when you did it. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. So we are heading inside and I was so emotional when I got in here because of the sufferings these people, these black people went through. It was so disheartening to me. Yeah. So three doors locked behind you. Okay. No food, no water, no air in here. You suffocate and starve to death. Until the last one drops in here, no one is going out. You say this and me, if they bring me a number of people, after some days, they open their doors, check some dead, and they still alive. They will have to lock their doors again for the living in here to stay with the dead until the last man drops in. It's just the man sitting beside a dead body, chained to a dead body. You don't have a new decay. And you pray not for God to intervene, but for death to intervene. He will take you early. The male content said, initially this was a storage room, so he had a door here. With the full intentions of using it as a content cell, the door was blocked. So that air will never ever enter this room. Oh my goodness. The number of people. Mm -hmm. Has, has there been a case that's like after opening there is still somebody who is alive or they'll close it back again so the person, oh, dies, the person so dies. until the last man drops so if they open the door they find some alive others dead they will lock the doors again for the one living to stay in here with the dead and the smell so that's the last one exactly so in here, some call it a room of your return. Mm. Because you come in and you don't have to get what you carried out. Today we are not condemned. Sure. Let's express some fresh air. Okay, so let's go. Looks like you thought when Jesus Christ was buried. <laughs> <laughs> let's watch our heads as we come out. <laughs> So this is the entire environment of the Cape Coast Castle and these are other people coming down from um, the places where their tour guards took them to and we were heading straight to graveside or courtyard where um, the Europeans were buried when they died. Most of them died of malaria because they weren't very strong enough and when the blacks die they throw them into the river so the the cut side is basically for them and this is where they stay they built this entire place just to um stay there and you know continue the slave trade here in cape coast and it's so annoying how most of these people black people perished why them You'll be buried and honored. Um, so, this is basically it. Yeah. Right, so we are back in the courtyard of the castle where human beings were branded. And this whole area was a cemetery or a graveyard hmm. for the Europeans in here. Now, we might be asking ourselves what happened to the Africans, the captives, when they died. Their bodies. Their cemetery was the ocean. So after we left uh, the cemetery, we went to the male slave dungeon. This place is really a dungeon. That is me. <laughs> uh, we were going inside. Other people were also coming out. And it's really a dungeon. It's kind of scary inside. I wonder how these men, how they felt when they were inside. I, 
I could feel their pain. I could hear them cry through the wall. Like, it's... I don't even know what to say about it, but as we were going, I was having chills all over my body. Therefore, the only source of light and ventilation in here is the three walls we see up there. But today, just as God said, let there be light. There was light. Today we have light in here. This is the male slave dive. The dive has five divisions or five chambers. Each chamber. So the tour guide was still explaining to us the get the babies that the parents brought with them were making noise and they were crying. So this tour guide was explaining that these men in here were chained to the wall because they were much in the room and there were no source of light and ventilation in the room except for that one we can see. And then when it happened, it wasn't even as bright as this. So we also left there. This whole place is also the male dungeon. Their own dungeon was so huge, so huge, and they really suffered a lot. And we were also amazed how the walls, see the walls, you can see through the walls. If you can actually see, you see that they have cracks. I heard that most of them even clinch to the wall. They climb up there just so they can have a little space. And as at then, there were no lights. These holes were just recently opened. They were suffocated and most of them died while they were in this dungeon. So we headed to their shrine. I heard the Africans, they, were, they had a shrine here. And these flowers are for them. People visit the castle recently. They buy flowers to... Um, give to the dead those who died in the castle because they are never forgotten the pain and the suffering and everything they passed through people still remember people come to visit people show them love by buying most of um, the flowers we can see on the floor uh, as you can see the flowers are pretty much and people come every day to buy the flowers and give them and I think, and I know that these people, although diseased, I know they can see this flower and they can smile for wherever they are. So we left the shrine and we were heading outside. And one funny thing that amazes me is that right above this dungeon is a church. These people have a church where they worship God. Why people suffer under them. People cry every day. Now I know why Africans, most Africans do not believe in, in church, why they are still embedded in their traditions and all that. It's, it's so annoying. This is one of the reasons. These people suffer even as they cry. The people on top, worshipping God, could not hear them. They don't care. But they claim, they claim that they know God. How can you even know God? How can you serve God if you don't serve one another? He said that if you love one another, that means you love him. So I don't understand. You can't be serving God and be so wicked to your fellow human. Oh, guys, just watch. Oh, this was the church. That was the Anglican above. church. Exactly. Okay. Right above the slave church. And the whole you saw in the slave church. <coughs> to be able to see in, you have to go back a bit. This is the third chamber. From here, you can see the third chamber. You see through the, you see the dungeon. Exactly. So they were spying on the captives from here, right in front of the church. That's quite an irony. They worship God. <laughs> <laughs> the church also serves as a classroom. The classroom for the next streets. In the castle, the females were being raped. So some of them got pregnant. If you are found pregnant, you'll be taken out of the castle to the community where houses were built with doctors, nurses to take very good care of the pregnant ones. It's me. After childbirth, you breastfeed the baby for some time, 
they themselves will take the baby away from you, the mother will return back into the castle, mm. ah, away to the next available seat. You will go back to your own community again. No, please, you come back yeah, come on, If they should allow you, you to go, you will go tell others what was happening in the so we were heading to where their governor stays, the European governor of this castle. I guess I don't know if it's of Ghana. <laughs> Definitely of this castle. And here yeah, I am climbing up. Me. Okay. 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 So people were taking pictures of the things he was saying and the scenes me I was just here because I was tired. <laughs> I was seated and I also was taking pictures. The graft was taking pictures of me and Bruce was the video man. <laughs> Obviously. So we headed to the governor's place and all that. This is outside the castle and I was taking the video from the Palava Hall. This is how nice it looks from the outside, on the outside. Yeah, so our tour guide was still explaining to us about the Palava Hall. So from the Palava Hall, we were climbing down. Yeah, this, this is the entire building, the castle how it looks like this is the sea this is part of the building so we are trying to go down climb down and uh, I think we're almost done So the tall guy was just uh, advising us at the end. I think he was giving us his last admonition. So after that, we we headed to where they sell most of these um, kente and Ghanaian materials, beads, and all that. So it was nice. And I was going to the other section. I was actually trying to buy a beach hat and I saw these baskets. They are so beautiful. So I haven't seen the hat I want yet. This pink one is nice, but I just want the brown ones. This place is filled up. It's filled with these nice materials and all that. So we came to this beautiful art studio. Um, they sell uh, frames, 
These are all nice bags. These are handmade. They are handmade, I guess. And they are so beautiful. But they are well pricey. They are so... <laughs> they are quite pricey. Expensive. Don't even go there. <gasps> and then I saw these um, earrings. Some jewelry, some beads. And the prices were so mind-blowing. And these paintings were... They are so magnificent. Look at them. And they are also expensive also. Though some are um, affordable, while some are pricey. See the paintings. So gorgeous. So I was trying to buy this bag. One for my mom and one for me. <laughs> but it's expensive. And this is us trying to leave the Cape Coast Castle. We are done with our adventure. And we are heading straight to town to eat atike. Hmm. This atike is what we used to eat in Cote d'Ivoire. I and my friends. We are heading to that place to look for atike. Because at this moment, I am damn hungry. And the only thing I wanted to eat at that moment is atike. If you have eaten a ticket, you know what I'm talking about with plenty paper. Shout out to all my Codiva guys out there. Mm. So right now we are outside the Cape Coast Castle. Yeah, this is how it looks like out on the outside. And let's go eat a ticket together. Come eat a ticket with me. If you know you miss a ticket or you still want to eat it, come and eat it from this video right now. <laughs> Je ne sais pas, oui, on va. Hein? Je ne sais pas. Hein? On peut manger ici. Il n'y a pas de place. Donc, où est-ce qu'on peut manger ça? Avec beaucoup de piment. Ah, ça me manque. Ça te manque? Oui? Are you serious? Wow. You know me? Like, you know I'm for you? Yeah. Okay, from Côte d'Ivoire. Is she an Ivorian or a Ghanaian? No, the woman is from Zema. And Zema is a little Côte d'Ivoire. Oh, okay. Here is the atike. Ah, it makes sense. So delicious. I missed it. It's been a while. It's been long. And this one right here with the fish. Ah, plenty pepper. Mm, I wish I was at home. I would have fried egg with it. <laughs> it's atike with fried egg. You will love it too. And this one, I enjoyed every bit of it. Ah, say do. J'aime beaucoup. <laughs> Les Ivoiriens, vous êtes formidable. So here we go, and we're just enjoying our atike, brews and the grafts. Hmm? Regardez, mes chers compagnons de service, vous vous mangez beaucoup. <laughs> In the voice of President Binene, if you know, you know. <laughs> atike to the world, so nice. I'm so excited that I met them and we had fun together. We ate like we were on mission. We ate our favorite food on mission. If you know Atiki very well, you know we don't eat it with spoon, we eat with our hands. 
I'll see how the graphs is eating his own. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that when he sees this video, he's going to laugh out loud. Regardez. <laughs> see you. So nice. I had fun, guys. And here is Bruce trying to disgrace me. <laughs> yeah. We are still buying more. That we use at his house. <laughs> see my TZ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, today is a good day. You see, you see yourself on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah. Hey. 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 I feel like I still need this. Yes, too. See we in the keke. Yeah. What? See we in the keke. You already taking this also. See what? The see we. So guys, we just left the Atike shop and we're heading straight to another destination. But I'm going to stop this vlog right here. And if you want to know the next destination we are going to, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified each time I post a new video. And if you actually watch this video from the beginning to the end, please leave a comment down below on the comment section. You may be a lucky winner of a giveaway. You never can tell. So uh, make sure you subscribe and watch my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.